what my research does is it connects the intellectual or um, academic understanding of climate change with what people experience. When you experience an extreme weather event, and I can say that this, this extreme weather event would have been much less extreme without climate change, that's a different way of understanding what climate change means. Climate change adaptation is, is ultimately about reducing vulnerability, and so it's investing long term in improved governance, healthcare systems, and so on, which is more long term engagement, but that is what ultimately leads to less vulnerable populations. Climate change is altering weather events across the world and has been doing so for, um, for, for years. So it's not, climate change is not a future problem. Climate change is a problem that's been killing people, leading to very high economic costs, destroying livelihoods for, for years. And, and we see this across the world. And it's of course, those who are paying these costs are not those who have caused the problem, but it's those in every society who are most vulnerable, who live in, in poor housing, who have least economic means. Globally, emissions are still rising, and especially now with the very high energy prices, uh, many, many countries have actually uh, gone back to burning more fossil fuels. So there's really still a huge amount of work to be done. As long as we keep emitting greenhouse gases, extreme weather events are getting worse. But as soon as we stop, extreme weather events will stop from getting worse. One of the big ways of how climate change is manifesting is something we can do a lot about by stopping burning fossil fuels.